Today, we are making biryani chicken. We have multiple steps here. And it's so complicated. So, let's get started. Hello everyone and welcome back to Kumbi Australia. Today we're going to be making an end of year special. It's a chicken biryani, one of the most complicated Indian dishes out there. Let's see how it turns out and thank you everyone. Hello everyone, welcome back. Myself Vedanto here and we are up for a very delicious dish today. The ingredients for today are 300 grams of rice, butter, onions, bay leaves, cardamom, cinnamon stick, ginger garlic paste, Turmeric, chicken, biryani mix, rose water, kira water, and cashews for garnishing. Wash your hands, grab your rice, and grab a bowl and put it into a measuring cup. You want 300 um, milligrams, and you want to put a bowl full of water. Now just wash it with your hand and drain out the rest. You're gonna do that to wash it, then you're gonna cover it up and with more water and place it to one side. You're gonna grab another bowl and put your chicken in. You have chicken breasts or chicken legs. It's up to you. Just put it all in and then we're gonna wash it. Put it on a uh, chopping board and you're just gonna chop it up into some small pieces. Not too complicated here. Now, personally, the next step is the marinade, and I personally recommend to buy the biryani mix. First, get your yogurt, put three to four tablespoons. That's optional if you want to put yogurt, if not. Now, grab your turmeric, sprinkle on top. This is the biryani mix. It basically has all the ingredients for you. And uh, then grab your rose water, one tablespoon each. Then uh, kira water, one tablespoon each. Some olive oil, vegetable oil, whatever you like. And that's basically it for the marinade. Look at that nice spin. <laughs> all right, uh, just oh, as always, just um, with your hands, just spread it all out. And you're gonna let that set that aside. Um, wait twenty minutes, and uh, grab your onions and grab two or three up to you, and um, you can wash them and uh, start by cutting them, peeling them off, and uh, chopping them into julienne style uh, quarters. Pretty easy to chop in half and just chop that all up. Now I just put that into a bowl to the side. And our next step, we're going to be grabbing uh, our pot and um, filling it up with some butter, no oil this time. And uh, put some cinnamon sticks and some uh, uh, some cloves and some other ingredients you'll see now. Put two to three cloves. Your sticks. Let that simmer. You put some bay leaves too. And some cardamom. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but okay. And uh, put your onion in, let that simmer okay. for about 10 minutes until transparent. I'm gonna put some ghee in there, which is kind of a, it's an Indian style um, olive, uh, sorry, uh, oil. Stir that all up. You can see it's starting to get a little bit uh, transparent. So we're gonna put your know, garlic paste. This time we have it combined. Be done. We'll sprinkle a little bit. And now it's time to uh, put the chicken in. And uh, that was looking good. Now we're going to repeat the same thing with the spices. Add your turmeric. Then uh, some red chili powder if you like. Some uh, biryani mix. Rose water. All the ingredients we just did before. At the same time. Stir it all up. Now, soon you'll see, uh, once we do that, we're going to add some water. That uh, interesting part is it's three parts. And we're going to, after this is done, it's going to be done soon, in about 20 to 25 minutes. What's going to happen is we're going to leave it, put it into a bowl, and then have three layers. And you're going to see boil now. Totally Next, we're going to be doing our rice. Just put that into a bowl with some water and uh, put some oil, some rose water. Some ghee, you can, this is a uh, trick where you can actually melt the uh, ghee into your spoon if you heat it up. Just put that all there, cardamom again, and uh, let that uh, go for about 25 minutes. You want it to be nice and good, and you're going to cook it about 50-70% done. Looking good. The rice is also, you can cover the rice if you like. Now we're going to cover everything and you'll see 
We have a lot of uh, things being covered. We're going to open it up and check on it. Looking good. And then you're going to drain it like that. And that's your rice 50% done. Next, you're going to be grabbing your chicken and placing it into a bowl. And then we're going to be doing our three layer stack. We're almost done with our barriani chicken. Put that into a bowl. And uh, now put some water. And this is actually going to be putting the pot on top. Now grab your uh, rice and stack one layer of rice. This may take a while. You want to spread it out, not spoon by spoon. We're going to put in our chicken on top, then another layer of rice, and then the sauce on top. And you're going to be putting a uh, hot, you're going to be boiling a um, marination bowl. And on top, you're going to be putting uh, your pot. So it's an interesting way where you are steaming the pot, um, but it's not actually directly on the flame. Now we're putting our sauce on. And that's going to go for like 30 minutes until done. And that's basically it. And uh, we're going to soon be having a little interview uh, for the end of the year special. And that's basically done with the three layer. Pat that down. Put the sauce on top, as I mentioned before. And that's it. It's not something God. Let that simmer there for 30 minutes. Check on it always. This is actually four, so it's a bit of a hazard. So you should be around the fire just to make sure it doesn't spill. That would be very bad. <laughs> All right, so I thought we we're gonna do this question and answer while waiting for the meal to cook as an yeah. end of year special. Mm -hmm. And I was thinking, okay, so what was your favorite video from 2022 uh, for the cooking show? From the cooking show, I must say that the butter chicken. The butter chicken. That was one of my favorites. Yeah. And then goes for the lemon pepper chicken. Yeah. Because that was the easiest. Yeah. yeah. And you can cook it in any short time. Yeah. I, I feel like we've got a long way from, you know, like a long shot to a big shot, uh, mm -hmm. short shot, literally, yeah. with the camera and everything upgrades. So I think it's, uh, I think 2023 will be a, a better year. Exactly. And, uh, I so. Yeah. So what exactly are we using that steam thing with the pot and then the... Barani um, pot. Yeah, the barani pot. What, what yeah. does that actually serve as a purpose? Well, it is called the dumb biryani okay. because it's uh, if the dumb word comes from the Persian word, which means mm -hmm. air cooked or you can say water vapor cooked, mm -hmm. hot yeah. vapors. Yeah. Yeah. So that is how it's totally made. So that water vapor will come and it will make the pot hot from inside yeah. and the yeah. the air vapor, the water vapor inside, which is hot, it will cook the. Yeah, that, that, that's that's very interesting. Well, thanks so much for your time. And yeah. our viewers, everyone who's watching, let's go back and see how our biryani is doing. All right, great interview. And we are done with the biryani chicken after a long video. Thanks. Thank you, everyone, from the QMB Australia team. We'll see you next year. See ya.